Hello, my name is Jill Hall and I'm a clinical assistant professor at the University of Alberta in the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. I'm one of the co-primary authors of this paper describing how medication use changed for older adults following presentation to an emergency department for community acquired pneumonia or CAP. This is an analysis of a population-based registry of patients from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada that initially included all patients greater than 17 years of age who presented from the years 2000 to 2002 with CAP during a quality improvement venture. We utilized the pneumonia severity index and research nurses to collect sociodemographic, clinical, and laboratory data. We restricted this analysis to those greater than 65 years of age, as this population has been demonstrated to experience greater morbidity and mortality in our previous work, as well as to frequently experience polypharmacy, and thus are at particularly high risk of adverse drug events. We also had access to complete prescription claims data from a provincial administrative database for this population. During transitions of care, studies have shown that many intended medication changes and unintended medication discrepancies occur, placing this older, vulnerable population at risk of not only adverse events, but also rehospitalization and the effects of under or over treatment. We believe that being able to identify populations at risk of suboptimal medication use and understanding when to target their medication profiles for optimization will help prevent adverse drug events. As such, we sought to determine whether older patients presenting with community-acquired pneumonia who are subject to polypharmacy may be a particularly high risk and aim to describe their patterns of medication use at and for one year following their pneumonia presentation. We included 2,105 subjects in our final study sample with a mean age of 78 years old, 62% of whom were admitted to hospital and 45% of whom had polypharmacy at baseline, which we defined as five or more medications. Polypharmacy increased to 74% in this cohort in the 90-day period following the episode of CAP, but remained stable for the balance of the one-year follow-up period. A limitation of our study is that we were unable to quantify more thorough measures of medication burden and could not assess medication appropriateness. However, we found that 80% of patients started at least one new medication in the first 90 days of follow-up, most commonly an anti-infective, and almost 75% of patients also stopped at least one medication during this time period. Although the overall prevalence of medication classes remained stable throughout follow-up, the vast majority of patients had medication changes during the immediate transition of care period, irrespective of antibiotic use. We believe that this time frame, immediately following discharge, is critical, particularly in older adults with multiple medications where the transfer of care, resolution of acute illness, new medications, and challenges with adherence may combine to produce a higher risk of medication-related problems. Our findings imply that the post-discharge or convalescent phase of pneumonia in older adults should lead to a more thorough medication review with the goal to optimize drug use. Thank you.